بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم so moving on we are now going on to at tamyiz which is the seventh of the mansubat so again we have our kharita our khutta map so we discuss maf'ul mutlaq we discuss maf'ul bihi we discuss maf'ul fi we discuss maf'ul lahu maf'ul ma'ahu hal now we're moving on to tamyiz and then after that we have one more in the jumla fa'liya here and then the rest we go on to jumla jumla al ismiya inshallah so we're now discussing at tamyiz yes now, this is not mentioned, it is mentioned in the book roughly, but it's not categorized as such. But I'll explain it here. So, a tamiz is what? What is a tamiz? A tamiz uh, is uh, a word, which comes in the next line, which is used to clarify any ambiguity. And where this ambiguity comes, we discuss it later on. Now, simply, we say the tamiz can either be tamiz al mufrad or tamiz al jumla. And Tamiz al Mufa is also called Tamiz al Zat, and Tamiz al Jumla is also called Tamiz al Nisbah. What does that mean? Let's start from the right hand side. Sometimes you have a scenario, you have a case, you have a sentence in which there is an Adad or there is a Miqdar. What does Adad mean? Number. I have 15. What? 15 what? So this adad, so this adad is mubham, vague and ambiguous, unclear. I have two kilos of what? I have three liters of what? I have two acres. But obviously, if I say acres, automatically you probably think land. But you still need clarification. Correct. So if you have an adad, a number, or any type of measurement, the word after it is called the tam, it becomes the tamiz. Make sense? You also get called something called tamiz and nisbah. Where, for example, the, there's no adad or there's no miqdar, no measurement or no number. But the ambiguity lies in the sentence itself. For example, it comes in the Quran, Ana aktharu minka. I am more than you. More than me in what aspect? Because after that, malan wa walada. So the mal and walad is, is clarifying the link, the nisbah between ana akthar. When he says in Surah, Surah Al-Kahf, ana akthar minka. So akthar, ana akthar. The, the ana and akthar, how is it, how is it akthar? Then you have the tamiz al-jumla, also called tamiz al-nisbah. So you're explaining the nisbah or the whole jumla, or you're explaining one individual word, mufrad, or you call it explaining it like that. This is what he's explaining here, but he doesn't clarify it as such. You follow me? So he says here, first of all, al-fasl sabi the seventh uh, fasl regarding the tamyiz. So at-tamyizu huwa natira. So tamyiz is always going to be what? Natira. Tuzkaru. It is mentioned ba'da miqdarin. After a measurement. After a miqdar. After a measurement. What kind of measurement? Okay, either. So he's, he's, he's made miqdar and other part of miqdar. But other books have mentioned other separately. So other is number. Other is what? Number. Kay is what? Mass. Like for example, or, or, or volume. So for example, what, what, do you, what do you use for math in English? What do we use? How do you measure? Liter. Gallon. Things like that. Wasn't is what? Weight. So what do we use, for example, in our... In our um, um, kilos. Kilograms or pounds or stones. You use those kind of things, isn't it? Yes? The metro system, it's all confusing. Like, you, you, you go to the petrol station. You, 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 you look, so we buy, we, buy, we buy petrol in litres, but they give us readings by miles per gallon. Makes no sense, isn't it? So we don't know what how much a gallon is. We never buy a gallon. We don't know how much gallons we fill in. But it, when, it, when they said the, the, the car gives us 40, 40 miles per gallon, I have no idea what that is because we never purchase gallons. Anyways, so anyways, metro system even. We have kilometers and meters and then miles and everything. Misaha. Misaha is area. What's, misaha is area. So what we use for area? What do we use for area in our language? Square, meter, square meters, no? 
square meters, we have square feet. We have square feet or rectangle feet? No? Or oval feet? So we have square meters or square feet. Correct? Or other than that, or other than that, مقدار من عدد أو غير ذلك مما فيه إبهام from those things which have what إبهام means ambiguity correct so anything which has ambiguity whether it's a مقدار or non مقدار so a word mentioned after any مبهم whether it's مقدار of عدد كيل وزن or مساحة and this نكرر word what does it do this نكرر word so is نكرر Knot number one starts from here. And this is what? Knot number two. So in Nakira word, which is mentioned after these, and which removes the ambiguity. And the examples will uh, make it clearer, inshallah. Okay, you following? So example, let's go ahead. For example, in the Ishruna Dirhama. In the Ishruna Dirhama. So Ishrun is what? So Dirhaman is in Nakira word. What has it been mentioned after? Something ambiguous. Like adad. There's an adad. And this tamyiz is clarifying this adad. Ishruna what? I have ishruna. What ishruna? Pounds, rupees, junai. What do you have? Yes? Right, now these words, now from now onward, these words are going to be difficult. I don't remember them. Each time I look at myself because we don't use these words. These are measurements of the old time days. Okay? So kafis. So kafis is basically, it's not a litre. Um, a tarnish, 528 Yeah, so I'm not remember that anyway. But kafis is basically, it's not a litre, but it's like what we would do as litres, a litre measurement. Basically, it's used to measure what? Mass. Correct? Right? What happened here? Okay? Right? Uh... Man is also a uh, way you measure, is also volume, is also something used to measure, measure volume. So you say, I have, more is wheat. So kafizan, I say, indi kafizan. I have two kafiz, two kafiz of what? Of wheat, of flour, of rice. So this more, read the example, of, we don't know these vocabularies, it's, it's very simple. If I say, for example, let me, let me change the example, say, indi litran. I have two liters of what? Ma'an. So ma'an is, is, is clarifying the volume of what liter meant by liter. Yes? Wa manwan saman indi garaman. It's a indi garaman. I didn't use the word garaman as an Arabic. So indi gara, garamun. Oh, yes? Indi garamun. Garamun of what? I must say I got a man of, I forgot a man of gold. I think I'm very rich. I'm going to say gram. I've got one gram. Indi garamun dhahaba. I got one gram of gold. Correct? That's, that makes more sense now? Easy to understand? So these are measurements. Man and some means butter. So man, manwan is really the plural of man. I don't know, the text came a bit funny because different fonts or something. Okay? Another example, jarib. Jarib is not an acre, but think of it as acre. It's probably got transition there, but I'm not really bothered about it. It's not, it's not the focus is nahwa. So jarib is what? An area of land. How much of it is, I don't know. But jarib is like a, a mass. So mass, so square meters, square foot. And cotton is cotton. So I got this much area of cotton. Correct? So again, vague, ambiguous, you're clarifying it. Some, do you have this in your books? Some books have this, some books don't have this. وَمَا فِي السَّمَاءِ قَدْرُ رَاحَةٍ سَحَابًا your, your copy has it? No, our copy, some copies have this. It says here, ma is, na, ma is nafia, negative. And فِي السَّمَاءِ is in the sky. So, and qadru, what's qadru mean equivalent? Qadru means what? Equivalent. And fi sama' khabar muqaddam. And qadru raha is what? Mubtada'un. Wa mu'akharun. Yes, mubtada'un. Mu'akhar. Meaning what? And raha, what's raha? Comfort. How do you get comfort when you're tired? And a, 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 a villager or an Arab, he's the whole day of his camels. He's tired, he wants to sit down. He sits down. Well, how does he lean back? In the desert, what do, you, what do you lean on? On your hand. So you, you lean on your? So you sit back, you relax, you lean on your? You sit back, you relax like this. So your raha is actually the palm. And that causes you comfort. So raha means palm. You get it? 
Yes? Imagine on the beach, you're like reacting like this. So you sit back under. Your ra has a palm. So you see, see? There is not the equivalent of a palm in the sky. So, palm, a palm full, or this much. So this much. There's not even this much in the sky. This much what? It's the tamiz of the qadr. Sahab cloud. I mean, there's not a single cloud in the sky. Eh? There's not even this much cloud in the sky. So, there is not the amount of a palm in the sky. Palm, amount of palm of what? In what aspect? Meaning, amount of what? Clouds. So, not even this amount of clouds in the sky. Okay? Another example. So, he got, so he's, I, don't know how, I don't know how they eat dates, but this is for really unhealthy. What's he got here? This is a date. He goes here. He's got, that's date. It must be, I don't think it's an Arab saying, it must be a Gujarati saying, or Indian saying, like ghee. So you got date, it says here. Upon the date, there is a like of it in ghee. So you think that much date and that much ghee. You have to have butter. No, if you don't have ghee, no taste good. Yes? Yes? The butter. So you have so much butter. So he's saying here, upon the date, this is a, this is a tamar. Upon the tamar, he's got that equivalent of ghee. So all the benefits of the, of the, of the, of the, of the natural date is going to go down with the butter. Correct? Yes? So upon the date, ala tamrati, upon the date, he dipped it in butter and he, he put what? Well, maybe, maybe it says butter in it, but maybe it means you have cream. You know, you have those, you know, you, you know some people have it with cream. Have you seen it in, in Medina, Manawara, and those places have the, have, the, have the date? So maybe, let's, let's, let's do So it's probably not, this, this butter is probably more of a ghee butter. And our translation, Hanzo says, zub, then it says, ghee, it says butter as well, but it probably means more of a cream, probably. I don't know they call it kishta, but that's modern day, I don't know. But anyways, it's not, it's not, it's not uh, dietary, dietary lessons here, right? So, he's saying we got tamara, and upon the tamara, we've got the likes of another tamara. But that tamara is what? That amount is what? Is zubdan, in, in cream or butter. Yes? So, upon the dates, ala tamarati, upon the dates, there's the equivalent of that amount, the same amount of in, in, in butter. So again, this is not too common, it's not too common. These words, these words are difficult, but in theory, it's very simple. But because we don't know the word jareeb and qafiz and man and all that, that's why it seems a bit difficult. If you say litran, litran, in the litran, it litran, I mean, I say, in the litran, mean ma, in the litran, litran, ma, and in the kilo, kilo, I say, in the kilo, zahaban. Yes? You get it? So these words, are, it seems very difficult when students say because these words, we don't even, we can't even visualize these, we don't even know what's a qafiz. You get it? But it's very simple. Yes? Okay? And we stop there, inshallah. Subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanallah, bihamdi, wa nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta, wa nastaghfiru wa natubu ilayk.